get on with it. Oh. Spiros? I knew you were alive. Thera, you've grown powerful. I missed you, Spiros, but you left us. I can explain. After your father united the great nations during the first battle of Inner Water, things were good for a while. Until your mother, a great woman, may the spears guard her soul, gave birth to you and the rest of the royal siblings. We as generals knew it wouldn't be long. Your father would rightly want his own heirs leading his armies. We begged your father to keep the old way, selection by the trials of superiority. He agreed. And in hindsight, the worst outcome. Archis, from the House of Archidons, was the first to lose their position. Next was Mera, from the House Merrick. One at a time, eventually we all fell. Even me, loyal to your father through two great wars. Atticai <laughs> could barely see over his shield. I didn't last long. I was defeated as if I were a child. Many of us became split by rebel recruiters. We were tempted by the prospect of taking back what was ours. I was sworn to protect the royal siblings, not to take orders from children. When Adekai was struck down in battle, surely it was my turn to step back in. Your father assigns a trails to lead. The boy doesn't even train. He's never in school and worst of all, doesn't believe in the way of the spear. Oh, that was the final splinter. I left to find my own way. Hundreds loyal to me followed. We were in search of the old ways. But what we were led to was something ancient, something magical, and it changed everything forever. It turns out we're not the only ones that got lucky. What will you do with me? I'm so sorry, Spiros. That's up to my father. Oh, thank you, child. Your mercy will not be forgotten. Will, uh, Zilleros be there? I'm afraid so. Then it's a death sentence.